An audit into litter across New Zealand estimates there are more than 10 billion cigarette butts strewn across the country. Environmental group Keep New Zealand Beautiful has released this year's National Litter Audit. It also estimates about 3.6 billion pieces of plastic and 394 million litres of nappies, yuck, contribute to our rubbish problem. Christchurch reporter Anand Zaki has the story. Cigarette butts, takeaway containers, discarded nappies and more plastic bits and pieces. Being a tidy Kiwi may well be a thing of the past. Keep New Zealand Beautiful Chief Executive Heather Saunderson says the litter audit was carried out by examining 413 sites across New Zealand, equivalent to 1,000 square metres in size. The rubbish collected from the sites were then multiplied across the area of New Zealand. So that's not actually what we found per se, that's looking across the whole of New Zealand on an average what it looks like. But Ms Saunderson says litter habits need to improve in New Zealand. I think on the scale of environmental issues, litter seems to be, in most, for most people, a very small issue. But this research clearly shows it's a large-scale issue. You can easily change that behaviour, and that's our focus, trying to educate the little, the little east and reinvigorate that be a tidy kiwi mantra of yesteryear. Forest and Bird Regional Manager for Canterbury and the West Coast, Nikki Snoyink, was shocked at reading the report. She says the issue also highlights the problem of plastic waste in New Zealand, which threatens wildlife. Well, the issue is pretty huge because there are a number of um, legacy rubbish dumps, old rubbish dumps around the countryside, that some of which that have exploded already out into the ecosystem and into rivers that get washed out to sea. And then all the plastic and bits and pieces that are in there eventually breaks up into tiny little bits. And that's a huge hazard for lots of our native wildlife. The audit also estimated that there are 258 million litres of takeaway containers littered across New Zealand. Community-led waste reduction group Wastebusters, based in central Otago, say the data confirms the well-known belief that single-use plastics end up as litter. Wastebusters communications advisor Gina Dempster says she was surprised at the 394 million litres of nappies calculated by Keep New Zealand Beautiful. When you think it's 100 nappies per person in New Zealand, it seems very high given that we don't generally seeing a lot of nappies lying on the ground but when I looked into how the report was done I realised that it was covering both the illegal dumping of household rubbish and what we traditionally think of as litter so I think that's where that high number of nappies is coming from. On the streets of Christchurch the statistics were met with some raised eyebrows by people in the city. I didn't know it was quite that bad. I think we're doing pretty well actually. I mean the most litter here is pigeon poop. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty good, especially around the main centre here. Yeah? You don't really look around, there's not too much rubbish around, is there? Not to the extent that some countries have it, I suppose, but here yeah, there's still yeah, there's still a rubbish problem. Yes. Certain areas probably do better than others. I think the presence of rubbish bins makes a difference. You know, I've just been in Europe for quite some months and I can tell you it's a lot worse there. Gina Dempster says from Wastebusters' viewpoint, the report shows that tackling litter is not all about personal responsibility. She says the government and producers of the waste must do more to reduce waste. In Christchurch for Checkpoint, Ananzaki.